Dr. Megan from Balance Within PT. So today I want to talk about the different types of incontinence that I see the most often. So there are a bunch of different types, but the most common are stress incontinence or urgent incontinence, and they actually are treated a little bit differently. So I just kind of want to clear up the difference between the two. So stress urinary incontinence is when you have um, pressure, um, when the physical movement or activity puts pressure on the bladder and you have some leaking. So it's when um, the pressure exceeds what the pelvic floor can handle. So things like leaking with coughing or sneezing, lifting up something, even walking, all those are pressure related. So that's considered stress incontinence. Um, the, the pelvic floor muscles work to keep the urethra closed, so that um, prevents urine from coming out, and when that pressure is too much for them to handle, that's when you have a leak. So things that we are gonna look at um, for stress incontinence is gonna definitely be pelvic floor strength and coordination. Do you know how to contract and how to relax those pelvic floor muscles, um, or if they have any tightness at all? Um, as well as I really want to just get a good look at how flexible you are and how well you're moving. So are you bearing down when you're going to lift up something or when you're doing an abdominal exercise? Oftentimes women will bear down when they're doing these different things because they're um, lacking pelvic floor strength or core stability and so they put pressure down on their pelvic floor and that's where leaking happens. Um, so when we're treating someone for that, we want to look again pelvic floor strength coordination uh, but also retraining movement patterns. Make sure that you're breathing well so that you're not bearing down when you're going to do these different activities. And just putting it all together with building good core strength and getting you to manage pressure in all sorts of different positions and activities. So that's stress incontinence. So the other type is urgent incontinence. So urgency is when you have um, the sudden strong urge to go to the bathroom and urgent incontinence is when you can't make it. So you get that strong urge and then you have some leaking with it. Um, so the bladder muscles are squeezing and contracting at the wrong time basically. So a couple different things that can contribute to this. You, I often see women with tightness in their pelvic floor muscles or in their hips, just kind of around their pelvis, just really a lot of tightness that can contribute to urgency. Um, but then often it is more of a brain bladder mismatch. So your bladder thinks it's full when, sorry, your brain thinks your bladder is full when it really isn't. Um, and so things like anxiety or even different foods, different drinks can make urgency worse. When we um, look to, when I work with someone with urgent incontinence, I'm gonna look definitely pelvic floor strength, pelvic floor coordination, flexibility, throughout the pelvis, but then I really want to figure about your bladder habits. So there are some habits that can maybe make this a lot worse. So if you're maybe someone who runs to the bathroom when you get a slight urge to go because it's just uncomfortable, or you see a bathroom and you're going to go, I'm just going to go just in case, and you could do that often, that starts sending this mixed signal to your brain where it's the bladder is saying, hey, we're full, but it's not actually full. And so a lot of treatment for urgent incontinence is really bladder retraining. It's putting you back in the driver's seat so that you are in control, your brain's in control, not the bladder bossing you around. Um, and then definitely avoiding things like the just in case going to the bathroom. Um, we're trying to, we work on different strategies to suppress the urge so that you're not having to go to the bathroom as often. And gradually that becomes less and less uncomfortable too as your body gets used to that. Um, and then addressing any pelvic floor dysfunction on top of that as well, too. So um, oftentimes women, too, get urgency with things like the sound of running water or pulling into the driveway. You just get this signal in your brain that says, oh, it's time to go to the bathroom. And so treatment for this is, again, behavioral retraining of trying to dissociate the difference, um, the sound of running water with going to the bathroom or whatever your trigger is, too. So when I treat someone for urgent incontinence, it's really focused on um, behavioral retraining and getting rid of some maybe not ideal bladder habits, as well as looking at bladder irritants um, that you might be eating or drinking, hydration, tightness, pelvic floor coordination um, as well, versus again, stress incontinence is working more on, on those things, but also that pressure management too. So, we treat them a little bit differently, but they kind of have similar themes with it too. Now, oftentimes people have both of this. Maybe you're leaking with coughing and sneezing, but you get that strong urge to go to the bathroom when your bladder's full. So I'm gonna do a combination of all those different things, and that's really common as well. 
So um, when I'm evaluating someone, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna really take a good history of what your, how long symptoms have been going on for, what are your triggers, what are your drinking habits, your bowel and bladder habits, how often you're emptying, how much you have to go when you empty, all those different things can play a big role, as well as looking at pelvic floor strength, flexibility, hip flexibility, breathing, how you're managing pressure, a whole bunch of different things as well too. So um, hopefully that cleared up the difference. If you didn't, maybe you didn't even know there was a difference, but there is, and just um, how we treat it a little bit differently, but then there are some similarities as well too. So if you're having either of these issues, please check out our website or give us a call and we're happy to help you out. These can be really frustrating and embarrassing things and I want you to be able to just go, go about your life without that fear of leaking and having to have a bathroom nearby. So give us a call if you have any questions and I'm happy to help out. Thank you.